Happening today, City Council is set to make a decision on the city's budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Good morning, El Paso's Isabella Martinez joins us live with what this means for city services and investments. Good morning to you, Isabella. Good morning, Rosemary. City leaders are set to vote on the proposed 2024-2025 fiscal year budget during City Council meeting here at City Hall later today. Now, this budget comes months in the making, and it includes key investments across various departments. The budget proposal was discussed in detail back in July, which outlines investments in city services. This includes funding for police and fire academies, street improvements, and new city projects like La Nube. Robert Cortinas, Chief Financial Officer and Deputy City Manager for the City of El Paso, says they are working to prioritize the city's workforce with planned wage increases for civilian employees. He says last year, City Council approved an increase to get to a target of $15 an hour. With the budget that will be approved tomorrow, it'll put us at $14.11, um, effective in March of 2025. So we're doing a 50 cent increase in September, 50 cents increase in March. For all of our civilian employees and then obviously our uniformed employees are paid according to their collective bargaining agreement. Now, Cortinas also says the goal was to minimize tax impact while maintaining those city services. And coming up in the newscast, I'll let you know what that means for your property taxes. For now, I'm reporting live from downtown El Paso, Isabela Martinez, ABC7.